Hey everyone, this is Rachel and welcome to another scrapbooking process video. If you hang out until after the video is through, there are always detailed shots of my current layout. Let's get going! Hey everyone, today I'm going to be working on a layout using my Chamel Box of Crayons line. I have these three 3x4 three photos of some yummy desserts that we had just a little bit ago. And I'm also bringing into play these Dear Lizzie chipboard words that came out with the Stargazer line. I wanted to use one of these words as part of the title because I'm working with smaller photos. It gives me a chance to go for a much larger title. All right, folks, I'm going to go ahead, get you put on fast forward. And oh, as you can see, I am still working away from home. So it is my last day, though. This will be the last layout you see with this background. I'll be back to my normal setup next time you see a layout. Or maybe I'll squeeze another one in. I don't know. We'll see. All right, folks, that is going to be what I'm leaving you with before I head on to fast forward this and let actually get started. Let's actually get started with this layout. Ooh, English, yay. All right, folks, let's get going. Okay, so this actually will be the last layout I make away from home. I will be back at my normal scrapping spot next time you watch a video from me. So I was, two videos ago, last video? I don't remember. I wanted to work with a dark background and I was, debating doing that again I do love the look of this multicolored polka dot and but I want to use one of these big words and I'm not sure which one I want to use whether it be magical or hello but I really want to use one of these big words for this layout it then dawns on me that if you use one of the big words you need to leave the word if you want to use one of these words, you have to leave it blank if you use dark colors. Otherwise, it will just be totally lost. So I went and I sprayed that part just to see what it looked like. And I was like, yeah, no, it's going to totally be lost. So we're going to nix the idea of a dark background and instead go for a light background because I had an idea of something I wanted to try and it actually worked out. And I love it. I love it so much. It's not even funny. So I think about word hello, but I like the way the word magical works instead. And honestly, for, for what I was thinking about my title, for what my story is, either one works. So it was just a matter of what looked better. So now I have this all set up and this is basically how my layout's going to go. But before I start working on my actual layout, I need to spray my word. And I'm going to spray my word navy with the word with my navy Heidi swap color shine and I'm going to spray it heavily these are matte chipboard pieces they do not have a shine to them so they do soak in a little bit so I actually wish I hadn't mopped it up before I let it dry I wish I'd let it sit in there to soak but I wanted to do the second layer so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some gold Heidi swap color shine and just mist and droplet it all over the place and then just let it completely dry and this actually turns out super cool i was really happy with the way it turned out so i'm just going to put this over to dry and while i'm doing that i'm going to clean up the counter a little bit and then get started working on my layout while that dries so once i start putting this together. Sorry, my cat decided to investigate something at my feet and it scared me. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to use this background page called, I think it's called All Changes, something along those lines. It has the, it's the one with the chameleons on the back side. Anyway, <laughs> I have my three photos and I'm going to use this yellow and then I, when I flip it over to check it, I realize it's got that say yes often and I think that would be really cute. I also have these two branding strips and I thought that would be really cute as well using that line that's already on the background piece and then kind of emphasizing that vertical piece. So I'm lining my photos up and I'm still thinking about that say yes often because when talking about dessert, why wouldn't you want to use the phrase say yes often, even if you shouldn't say yes often. 
you still want to. <laughs> I'm going through the six by eight writing pad that also came out with this line and pulling out a couple things I think might work for maps. I I don't think I end up using either of the ones I've pulled so far. I don't remember off the top of my head. Then I remember I've got some tucked in the front and I pull those out as well. So I'm thinking about using this brainstorm one, but where things are going to hit, I don't think it's going to work. I'm then thinking maybe this arrow one, but same thing. There's so, the three photos cover so much, it just kind of looks silly. So I say no to that as well. And I decide, you know what? Yes, I think I want to say yes often. So I'm going to use that instead. Trimming it up properly, because obviously last time I use this paper I did not and what I'm going to do is have each of my three photos uh, kind of overlap that one I've been doing a lot of modified grid designs lately just it's what's going through my brain apparently who knows what happens in my brain so I'm going to go ahead I like the way that looks so I'm going to start to glue things down I like where that multicolored polka dot one is so I go ahead and I glue it down without moving it from my paper so I don't since like since I'm like this is the perfect place for it I don't want to move it. I am going to move this pink striped one slightly and it's a little bit wonky on one side so I'm just going to trim it up with my scissors which most likely just made it even more wonky but whatevs. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide it over just a bit so you can see that dark blue vertical line rather than how I had it before, which is where you, uh, I had it so you couldn't see it. So I have those down. I'm sorry, Xanthi has decided to sit right next to me and insist that I pet her. <laughs> sorry, so I got distracted, I apologize. There is my magical word, magical, and look how awesome it looks. I was so happy with the way this turned out. It was like, I, I saw it in my head and I was hoping it was gonna work out and it actually worked out better than I thought it would. So I go ahead and get that cut apart place down. And then, as I said, I'm going to overlap each of my photos with it. I'm just trying to line up so that that photo does not overlap that chameleon on a branch in the corner, just cause for some reason I thought it would look odd if like it covered part of the branch. I don't know why, sometimes my brain has, I has no clue as to what it's thinking. So <laughs> everything's slightly off kilter right now. I am gonna go back and like, so when I go to try to place the third photo, it's, it's not working the way I want it to. It's hilarious, 90% of the time, I'm just kind of willy nilly throw it down and then just that little bit of a time and it's like oh my gosh i need my t-square ruler i need to redo this i need whereas most i'm like eh, good enough so i finally seem to have my photos down where i want them i'm going to use my scotch tacky glue which is in a which has a fine line bottle cap on it wow there were words and Unfortunately, my word was not 100% absolutely dry, so I did get a little smudge of the ink on my paper when I place it down. It gets a little reanimated with the liquid glue, so I do have to take some paper towels and kind of mop up a little mess. It's fine. I'm not going to flip out over it. Here I am blotting that little messy part up, and we're good to go. Ooh, I hit something, sorry. So I'm pulling out my embellishments, and I'm going to use the, oh, sorry, before I start, before I finish my title, I'm going to uh, embellish using these word and phrase stickers in each of the spots and then what I'm going to try to do is use as oh I was these are um, they're holographic so I was playing with that uh, I'm going to try to use as many of the ice cream and or cake embellishments that I can because it's not that I often scrapbook my desserts so 
we went to a restaurant and hadn't planned on getting dessert. We don't normally get dessert, but uh, when we read the description of the dessert, we're all like, okay, we're totally going to get dessert. The good thing is the desserts were not massively huge. So I will, while I'm placing down all of my embellishments, because that's pretty standard, I will explain the desserts because, um, hello, who doesn't want to hear about those? So the one at the top was my nephew's, and that was a Mexican uh, pan de chocolate. <laughs> and so it was a chocolate pudding, basically, with uh, cayenne pepper and cinnamon. It was very good. The one just below that was my housemates, and that was the tiniest ice cream sandwiches ever. And that's actually what they were called. They were, that's what they were called on the menu. And then uh, the one on the right-hand side was mine, and that was an affogato, which is basically a make-your-own coffee milkshake so or an iced coffee ice cream combo thing it's basically a scoop of vanilla ice cream and then they give you a shot of espresso and you pour it over the ice cream it's really good <laughs> all right so i used several of the stickers i also used that ice cream patch because two of the three desserts did have ice cream on it now i'm using the 6x12 stickers and i'm adding a couple of cameras because i always think it's funny when you take pictures of your food and I'm finishing off, once again, trying to use up all of those dessert embellishments because, as I said, I don't necessarily scrapbook my food all that often. Uh, I do occasionally, but just not all the time. So there are puffy stickers. There are the stickers from the sticker book. There is that ice cream patch. There are also stickers from the 6x12 sticker sheet, and they all have cakes and ice creams and strawberries. Even though no one had any strawberries, I thought the color worked. Hey, what am I going to say? I'm going to also add a couple of these thicker glitter hearts from the box of crayons line as well just to bring that navy in since there's such a big block in that say yes often and then also in the title and i was annoying myself with where they belonged so i was like moving them all over the place because once again most of the time i just stick it and go and then once in a while it's like i have like laser focus on what is wrong with my layout. <laughs> I decided I need a little heart down at the bottom there because the, the, that little gap under the G was driving me nutty. And I'm still adding more <laughs> puffy sticker cakes. Uh, there were quite a few of them and I was concerned I would never be able to use them again. All right, I'm actually finally getting to the end of this layout. I am going to finish it up with some navy Heidi Swap color shine and then also some gold Heidi Swap color shine as well because, hello, you always need extra gold. All right, folks, that is going to be it for me today. Thank you guys so much for joining me. If you could flick me a thumbs up, that would be fabulous. And please subscribe because it's awesome to be a subscriber. I don't know why, but it is. All right, folks, have a great day. Bye.